Reflections of Execrable Stillness is the second full length from Autotheism, a, an Italian technical death metal band, one that has some dissonant death metal influences, and uh, maybe still a tentative sound considering that this second record is more of a compilation of ideas they'd completed uh, between 2016 and 2022. I can't necessarily tell if the 20 minute song that ends the album on side b is technically a re-recording or a reimagining of uh, a, a single that they put out uh, some time ago back in 2018 but it appears to be fairly similar in terms of composition note for note unless i've missed some key details otherwise the rest of these songs were composed in 2022 before i believe the drummer left the band and so this is sort of a capsule of that first formation of the band in collection more or less where they've taken their their best ideas and put them together into this full length and then given them theme which is is loosely related from half to half we get two very different experiences here on this record and one that uh, maybe it would make more sense to describe what the band is after you've heard them and we won't have to get that deep here there isn't that much to this release in terms of just introducing the band reintroducing the band and talking about what's what's interesting here and So to have two full lengths this early in a career, I, I feel like it, this is uh, too soon. I think this band definitely was a product of the pandemic years in some sense, and that when it was time to start releasing things and getting them out there and uh, and whatnot, it, it seemed like they, they weren't necessarily ready, but it was the right time to put something out because there was a specific audience for it online or, or whatnot. And while I think that they had formed something pretty interesting and successful enough on that first full-length album. I don't know that extending every single idea that they had between 2016 and 2022 makes for an interesting record here. Their first full-length was characterized by dark ambient. It had a, quite a lot of ringing dissonance in use. It was intricate, uh, disheveled, but also caustic and uh, technical in a way that was pretty average for today's standards, but still it had some uh, unique ideas in terms of the way it was filling space and allowing for some room to breathe throughout. What we get here, like I said, is a collection. It's not necessarily a definition of their sound. It's not necessarily a directive that is intentional in the way that it, these two things are sewn together. It really just gathers a set of songs and lets you uh, figure your way through it as you will. This wouldn't bother me at all, and it really isn't an issue in terms of the general quality of their work. It, it is interesting enough. There is a dissonant turn on the 2022 written material, and I think that is not the most impressive or elaborate style that they've written but it is a meaningful continuation of where they began and you can kind of see how far they've come in terms of uh, honing in on some of those ideas working with a little bit of repetition and uh, finding their their voice in terms of guitar technique now it's not there yet and i don't think these songs are really all that thrilling up front but they do give a sense of where the band might go in the future and they do they're they're just tuneful and technique oriented enough to where the uh, the ringing dissonant chords and the sense of movement and the nausea of it all works even though it is for me a tad bit sterile in the way that it presents itself now the problem here is probably side b for my taste i think that it uh, lingers a bit long doesn't approach a dramatic enough point and generally the song is dynamic and interesting in its movement but doesn't necessarily make for a uh, a thrilling full listen as a conclusion to the uh, the album. I think that viewing this album as a collection of remnants and uh, finishing thoughts on maybe this first phase of the band shows some insight. It shows uh, a personality developing. It shows some clear skill in the hands of these artists. And I think what I'm missing is a clear thought, a, uh, a personality up front that really... Uh, 
demands to be recorded and and heard. What I hear is experimental death metal and something that is still in the works. And it's a very elaborate treatment for something that doesn't feel like it's had a, a ton of real thought put into it in terms of presentation to the listener as a, a product. And, uh, and and that's in most commercial possible terms. Uh, you know, I, I love experimental music like this. And I think that it's, it's interesting to see them develop sort of a, a, a minimal compositional ask from uh, complex movements that are, are pro you know, difficult to orchestrate in general. So I think there is a, a sort of dissociative cold angle to this that is, is pretty interesting that lines up with a lot of deeper thoughts and maybe philosophical themes that uh, feeds into what, what they're talking about here. So there is value there, and I think that it's worth continuing with, but there's obviously something missing in terms of the actual arrangements that keeps it from being like well above average. Uh, so in, in a way, this, this appears maybe a little bit more grand and glowing and interesting uh, from afar. And then when, when I got in and I kind of investigated it deeper, it's, it's just kind of a, a little bit above average work. And I think it's, it's a good place to, to jump off from and do something bigger in the future. So hopefully that's on the way. It's released on October 25th. Check it out yourself. That's a moderately high recommendation for me. And if you'd like more details, go ahead and read the written review on the site.